Are your employees taking initiative? Are they working as a team to practice continuous improvement? I'll talk about the manager's responsibility to train employees to do just that in this video. Hello, I'm Steven Goldberg of Optimus Performance, bringing you practical tips and ideas on leadership, team development, and employee management in the workplace. Yes, it's the manager's responsibility to train employees to work in teams to practice continuous improvement and even take on management responsibilities. That's what autonomous teams are all about. But to get to that stage where teams are actually autonomous requires development. And this means the manager needs to train the employees on certain elements of teamwork. The first level of teamwork, or the first level actually for employees to move into teamwork, is to make sure that everybody is doing their tasks according to standards. That means performing them on time and with quality. So you have to set those standards. Once you have employees meeting those standards, now you could start having them come together to participate and discuss goals and objectives for the team that's in line with the goals of the organization. Now, in order for them to do this, they need to learn how to communicate, how to listen, develop those human relations skills, and also to be able to resolve conflicts on their own. Because if they're gonna be meeting on their own to discuss things, then they need to be able to work their way through any potential conflicts. And it's the manager's responsibility to teach that. The next thing is taking initiative. So the manager needs to teach the team members how to work together on continuous improvement projects, meaning finding ways to take initiative as a team to look at roadblocks that's holding their performance back in achieving their goals and use problem solving techniques to remove those obstacles. Once they learn how to do this, the next thing the manager needs to teach is how they can take on more managerial responsibilities, even going so far as to hire and fire staff members. But part of that is learning how to develop a relationship with management in order to propose solutions to their initiatives on continuous improvement because they'll need to get the backing of management on a lot of those initiatives because there may be budgetary considerations involved and the impact on the organization as well and of course the support that management needs to provide. So these are the four clusters I call them that managers need to train employees on. So one is making sure that standards are being met in terms of the tasks that each member needs to perform, that they learn the relationship skills in order to communicate effectively with each other, that they learn the problem solving skills in order to practice continuous improvement, and they learn the relationship skills with management and some of the management skills in order to become more autonomous. So I hope you could start considering these things and start training employees on these areas, on these clusters. It's the manager's responsibility to provide that training and ensure that employees can go through the stages of team development. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Check out some of the other videos. There's also some playlists. There's a video recommended for you right now. There's also articles that accompany many of these videos on the blog section of my website. Thank you for listening and we'll talk again soon.